Okay, let me get right to it. Uh, first of all, my subscribers, friends, and YouTube citizens, peace to you first. Of course, I always like to greet you all first before I start any video recording. And uh, as for you, June Bug Obama, introducing myself. I'm a TLT1020. My uh, channel is all about prophecy and current events of the world and just, uh, you know, keeping people posted and updated on things that's going on in the world that they might be missing that I catch. So it's causing, helping people to see from a, a perspective or angle that they may never thought to look before. So it's all about prophecy and biblical and all that stuff. So check me out. You ever get a chance and see how you like my channel. But uh, anywho, to the single mothers thing. Uh, first of all, um, I'm going to start with uh, two different angles on both sides of the coins. Now your argument with a single mother one, you made a lot of key points, even though it's a lot of vocal language, but hey, you're a grown man, your preference. But you did make a lot of key points about why some guys choose not to date single mothers. Okay, now <clears throat> let's go from the bad boy perspective first. Remember two sides of the coin. All right. Um, now, the reason a guy would date a single mother, the bad boy perspective, is because of the fact, for one, he must really like her body. She must really look attractive to him. She must really look good to him. And he, uh, you know, persevere or endure whatever he has to with her children, if they're bad, if they're well-trained, whatever, in order to sleep with her. And then in some in instances where if the guy does sleep with her, if she ain't did nothing in a while, she may really turn it up on him. She may really put it on him. And then the brother end up getting hooked like, wow, you know, that was really some a good slice of pie, to put it more, you know, cordial, I guess. But um, so he ended up, you know, she ended up putting it on and whatnot. And then he ended up getting addicted. And he ended up just pretty much staying with her solely for that purpose. As far as the bad boy, and if he feel he can't take it no more as far as with her kids, then he drop off and leave her alone. Okay, the good guy goes in, and he may be understanding, because he probably have kids of his own. Like prime example, uh, Madea's Family Reunion. If you remember that movie, that, uh, Tyler Perry kind of gave an illustration about a single mother with kids. And, you know, she had her... What was it? She had two daughters or two boys, something like that. I think he had a daughter or something. I can't remember exactly. I think she had, yeah, I think she had daughters. And I think he had a daughter or son, one or two. And uh, I forgot the uh, actor's name, though. Uh, male model actress. But, um, you know, that's a prime illustration right there about him already having kids, by being a single father. He understand her pain. He understand the burdens that she going through as a single mother. So that's why he was able to adapt to her having kids because he like, hey, it's no big thing to me because I'm used to kids. If you notice, the first thing she threw out was, I'm a single mother and I got two kids. She pretty much automatically landed out there. I already know you ain't gonna want me because I got two kids, so I'm gonna let you know up front. But when he overlooked it and still accepted her in spite of that, you know, it was like, wow because he already had the proper training, you know, as, as far as with tolerating kids, about having a, one of his own. Now, the brothers that's without children and end up taking on a single uh, mother, probably, you know, want kids, or those kids might be well-mannered. Those kids might touch their brother's heart in a way that, like, wow, you know, I feel like that father. You know, these kids cling to me it might send him a message. He might get some type of sign from the children that, you know, it might be some like some type of sign or some type of connection. And if he feels some type of sign or connection that, hey, you know, I'm not only bonding with her, but I'm also bonding with the children, then he might, that it might work out. Because I actually had a high school buddy uh, a couple of years back they got married 
that has no children by any any woman, but she has like three daughters. And you know, some guys, you know, the the player mentality or whatever would probably be like, hey man, I don't see how he did it. That many kids, I can't deal with him. But talking to him, you know, hearing it in the tone of his voice that he really feel blessed by her daughters. And I remember uh, at the wedding reception, he was like, man, I brought that up to him. Like, man, you know, she got three kids and, you know, you know, still respecting his wishes, but just asking him about that. He was like, man, I love those girls, man. He like, they're my daughters. He like, they like daughters to me. I love them. And I can tell they really touched his heart because he connected with them. So some brothers, like, like you said, it ended up happening and it all works. You end up doing the whole Brady Bunch thing, you know, the father with kids, the mother with kids. And some just don't have that tolerance or their maturity on how to deal with children. Some guys step up and they see a woman with a lot of children and be like, whoa, you know, I don't, I, I never had no experience as being a father. I really don't know how to deal with kids because they still in that player mode of going from woman to woman to woman. But that's not always true neither. Another example is the movie um, The Perfect Holiday or The Holiday with Cameron Diaz. This guy was on there. He was like a player or something. He was going from woman to woman. Cameron, he uh, met Cameron Diaz. He ended up getting attached to her, really starting to liking, liking her. And uh, she ended up popping over his house. And because he was kind of being, you know, secretive about his daughters, two daughters. So she ended up popping over his house and whatnot, checking on him and trying to, I guess, uh, contact him about something. And next thing you know, she saw him peeping through the door and saw two other little heads beneath him peeping through the door. So some brothers are the same way as a single mother when they come to children. Like, we don't want to expose our children to a lot of women the same way women don't want to expose their children to a lot of men. So the ones choose not to, of course, automatically, that's a preference. You know, some women say, oh, he a coward or he a weak man. He don't want to, you know, take care of children. Some guys don't know how to tolerate children because they don't have the training or the experience. So that's why some guys resist or run away. But like I was using Mario's family union in his case, I think it's Boris Cujo or something like that. It kind of clicked in my head. I think this is his name, the male model actress. But in, anywho, in his case, he had training. So he had the tolerance for having a single mother with children by having children of his own. But some brothers don't. So they end up putting their track shoes on and, you know. So, but, uh, but yeah, but that's why I was saying with the perfect holiday. That was another example of the guy being a player. And he was being secret about his daughters because he didn't want his daughters exposed to every other woman. Now, as for the bitterness of single women, and I say single black women or single women in general, I think the, like, the bitterness and the frustration of uh, single mothers, is you know, some of them are frustrated, of course, at the pressure of being a single mother. And some of them are frustrated at who they had the child by. So a lot of them are bitter at their choices. A lot of some of them are bitter at their choice as far as who they chose to have this baby by or these children by. So that's where the snappiness come in at or the sensitivity uh, come in when having a discussion about the baby's father or the single mother should have been more responsible and this, this, that. Of course, some single mothers already know that. They already where they messed up, they're aware of their mistakes, they're aware that they should have chose the guy who they had children by. So when a, a person brings that up, if it's the guy they dating you know, a family member, whoever, of course, they were causing them to be ticky or ready to snap because it's like, duh, I'm aware I messed up. That's why I'm trying to find a way to substitute my mistake with a good, decent man in place of the sorry baby dad or the sorry father of my children. So I'm trying to substitute him with somebody much better. So that's why a lot of single mothers are looking for that type of guy 
to come and take the place of the weak, sorry fathers. Because they might be getting child support from them, they might not. But they do want a male role model in their life because they know trying to teach a young male how to, you know, trying to potty train a young male, women can't do that. You know, women can, you know, of course, force them to go to the pot or whatnot, but as far as potty training them, like, you know, literally showing him, that's up to dad. You know, the dad kind of joke with it, hey, you know, aim your joystick in the right, you know, kind of showing them and explaining. Or vice versa, when it comes to the menstrual cycle of a young female, when she hit around 12 or 13. You know, fathers need the assistance of a mother. So that that's kind of a challenge for a father, is when his daughter having a ministry cycle of single fathers, this the daughter staying with the father. So it's like, man, you know, I'm familiar with it, but not too familiar with it because I don't go through it. So that's when the single fathers need the assistance of a female, and that's where the single fathers will want a female or a woman in their life they can trust to kind of show their daughter how to be a decent woman when they grow up. So it's on both sides of the coin. It's on both sides, you know. Just like some women when date a single uh, father because she feel like if the baby mama is still around, it might be drama. Same, same way with the single mother with the brother thing. Okay, the dad in a child life, it might be drama. But you already made them points on arguing with a single mother. But of course, I mean, if she has a loving father, a loving father in her life, as far as the single mother, I mean, you can't knock it. I mean, it's automatic. If this brother has care for his children, of course, you like, you know, messing with his cubs and he the bear, you know, or messing with the cubs and he the lion. He the father of those cubs. So of course it's like, hey, you mess with my cubs, you're going to have to cross me. So that's automatic. You sh should be understanding on that. You know, as long as you're respecting the children and whatnot and treating them fairly and a mother doing her part to make sure that she respect, to teach her children to respect wh whatever elder or whatever, you know, adult that she bring around, then it should be no problem. But other than that, uh, one key point, last point I wanted to make, is uh, another reason why some brothers don't want to date single mothers is because the children not being home trained or always taking the side of the children. Like the brother may see something the children do that's wrong, and he might scold them for it. And they may say, well, mama says okay, mama okay with it. So he goes to the woman he dates and says, hey, you let your children do this and that and she approves of it and he might disapprove of it and it might be a more issue an issue of morality so he you know disagrees with the way she bringing him up and trying to get her to fix that and she okays it so there's friction right there so the children being disrespectful towards this guy and the mama is not trying to do anything about it you know she condoning her actions so about him not being home trained and he got a struggle with not only these, you know, hard-headed children that's being influenced by the mother, but also the opinion of the mother as far as allowing them to do whatever it is that he's going against. So that's a argument within itself. But anywho, uh, I guess uh, I think I covered all the points I wanted to bring up. But anywho, uh, enjoy it. Uh, sharing this with you on your blog. This is an ongoing issue that's going to go on year after year, even though it's this in May 2010. But uh, anywho, June Bob Obama, which they sound like Obama nickname from the hood or something, but peace be unto you and Christ for life.